What you're watching right now is video from a recent protest near Buckingham Palace against pedo prince andrew an international protest that took place all over the world against child abuse and child trafficking which oddly enough the mainstream media heavily criticized for quote not socially distancing and as cnn said was quote disturbing wow i wonder why their coverage of this protest is so different than of course black lives matter huh Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Zukanowski of We Are Change on Oregon. In this video, we are going to get into a deep dive of Hollywood's and the mainstream media's problem when it comes to hurting and abusing children. We're going to be talking about Kevin Spacey, Jeffrey Epstein, Ghislaine Maxwell, the royal family, but of course, talk about the latest disturbing current events that has correctly sparked international outrage. Hashtag cancel Netflix is trending right now. As many people on the left and the right and regarding their political opinion are finally making a stand against what is clearly the abuse exploitation and glorification of child abuse and you won't believe the details of what is just publicly available now on netflix we're gonna get into those details plus a lot more all on this independent media organization that of course has been speaking about these issues for a very long time and because we do we get heavily censored we get shadow banned and of course we are a hundred percent demonetized on this youtube channel for speaking about such important things therefore we are launching a second project called get out and live free the gofundme for that is still going on by the way you could still participate we have three tiers of support that you could join each three tier comes with it with a particular perk we are working and in the next coming weeks we'll be producing the second youtube channel and all the additional things that we are going to be having with this major project the link to this gofundme will be in the description below check it out also we still have a few tickets left for our survival apocalypse training this sunday in concord new hampshire if you're in the area you won't be wanting to miss this check out the link also in the description for more details surrounding this event now when i say the entertainment hollywood and mainstream media industry have a problem with abusing children i'm not just talking about the latest film that was just released by netflix that's called cuties i'm talking about a long series of documented events of them always clearly arguing and trying to normalize illicit illegal activities with small children and whether it's newsweek or cnn we are seeing just grotesque insane headlines like quote this is how you teach kids about consent or born this way sympathy in science the guardian here the respectable pedo no joking that's literally some of the headlines that the mainstream media has been running with now this along with the mainstream media using very adult-like images and behaviors that are being promoted in the subconscious of major movies and popular music we are moving towards a degenerate generation where children are deprived of their innocence and this has really reached its crescendo moment with netflix latest movie called cuties now again the controversy was there even before the film was released with just the poster raising a lot of criticism a lot of outcry and and rightfully so the the poster that was released just a few weeks ago showed 11 year old children in very inappropriate situations and just from that trailer just from that image a few weeks ago the film actually was just released in the united states and it is a lot worse than you could even imagine some of the clips of what was in this movie are being played on twitter and it, it's something that i refuse to to retweet i refuse to show we will not be showing any of those insane images that netflix is trying to normalize you to disturbing is one way of describing them disgusting is another and even according to imdb scenes in the movie are lawfully defined as pedophilia there is nudity showing children watching pornography mimicking the, the same moves in in a pornographic movie inappropriate camera zoomings on a, a, again body parts of children as they're doing these moves there's even outright 
nudity of children in there. And we have to understand, Hollywood for a very long time has been working with the military and intelligence agencies to, of course, push and promote certain ideas and agendas to the general public. A lot of times you see a lot of subconscious conditioning programmed in movies in order to push a certain agenda. That's been very clear to anyone who's been paying attention, especially to an industry filled with child abusers. That's that's Hollywood. And again, in this movie, you see a lot of just demented scenarios play out that predictively program other people who are watching it to just these insane behaviors. This could be one of the reasons why our society has spiraled out of control to where it is right now in its decaying state. But one of the scenes in the movie that is worth noting here and is going around Twitter is how the children trespassed illegally into an area. They are stopped by a security guard who demands to call their parents and get the phone numbers of the parents from the children. The children then accuse him him of groping and sexually assaulting them. The security guard obviously becomes scared. Then the girls start twerking in front of the security guard, and then the security guard watches them twerk and then lets them leave. There's other scenes in the movies where the children are, are literally uh, committing indecent acts against each other, literally making and producing CP. And uh, again, this is utterly deprived, disgusting, sick behavior, almost akin to devil-like actions that we have to understand there is a clear agenda behind. Netflix, which is promoting this, is a $125 billion dollar company. This is a company that literally hires the former president of the United States and signs him for an eight-figure deal where, of course, they get to produce the propaganda that they want. Netflix knew that already there was an outcry with just the trailer, with just the poster, and they still decided to release this movie, which critics are giving high marks of review. Meanwhile, anyone normal watching this, the, the audience, not, not, not perverted sick individuals in the, in the entertainment industry that gave this piece of filth a 90% rating compared to the average person that gave it a 5% rating. And when we look at uh, some of the writings here by these supposed professional top critics, we're seeing people from the LA Times, New York Magazine, Rolling Stone saying how incredible and amazing, fawning over this film, an absolute perversion. Rolling Stone wrote a piece that was titled Cuties Review, a coming of age movie caught in the culture wars. Are you freaking kidding me? These are children. What do you mean coming of age? What are you talking? How can you even get it? what the independent Netflix cuties is too intelligent and moving to be marred by one bad taste poster. What are you talking about? They even deem this a, quote, important contribution to the coming of age. What are you talking about? The New Yorker released the piece on this that they quickly deleted off Twitter. The post as of making of this video was, was still up on their website. But they wrote cuties, which has angered scandal mongerers on the right. No, 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 no. This was a controversy from Reddit first and obviously just from individuals paying attention but the title but the, but the headline here goes on quote is the story of a girl's outrage at and defiance of a patriarchal order what are you talking about you have documented child abuse and perversion in many sick and disgusting ways and you're talking about how this is a a, a defiance to patriarchal order what if that's a defiance to patriarchal order I'm all for patriarchy now. If that's your freaking definition of it, and we need a lot more of it, if that's how you're going to classify this. And we have to understand here, the media is absolutely complicit in this agenda. They are advocating and promoting the sexual exploitation of little children, which has perverts cheering for it. I mean, look at this guy, quote, 
the most beautiful coming of age movies I've seen in many, many years. So watch it. What are you talking about there, Gilbert? My goodness gracious, these people are sick. Now this demented person actually deleted his original tweet, but he just put another one up that says that the movie is a beautiful portrait of girls. <laughs> oh, God. oh my God. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't think it would be this brazen. I, I, I wouldn't be thinking that it would be this in your face, but it is. It, it, it's literally this bad and this is a blue check mark person working at a media publication and then what i mean let's really kind of think about this because obviously this incident is, is very disturbing but this is not the first disturbing incident there's too many there's too many freaking coincidences here to make this just a random event this is not random this has been happening in hollywood and the mainstream media for a very long time we've seen this with kevin spacey after, of course, the mainstream media was fawning all over him, promoting him, loving him when he came out as gay, but forgot to mention that, of course, he was being accused of abusing children. There have been many lawsuits against him many times where, of course, the accusers, as, as CNBC says, quote, becomes unavailable, but in reality, die. Yes, there's been a number of accusers against Kevin Spacey that have died mysteriously. And now there's a new lawsuit accusing him of assaulting two 14-year-old boys. There's a new lawsuit, and we could only hope and pray that these accusers don't meet the same faith as the other Kevin Spacey accusers that have died. We also have to remember that the main line establishment industry was filled with individuals like Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein that worked together, cooperated together, and were tolerated by not only the authorities, not only the government, not only by intelligence agencies and local law enforcement, but also the top echelons of Hollywood and the mainstream media that complicitly worked with these individuals for over three decades. Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstein were able to do and abuse whoever they wanted for nearly 30 years with a stamp of approval from Hollywood of individuals like Oprah Winfrey and major Hollywood bigwigs that would work with them, promote them, even though it was an inner circle that had to have individuals like Seth MacFarlane literally mention to highlight how the majority of insiders in this business knew what these dirty, disgusting monsters were up to. And they were above the law. They were protected and promoted by a sick industry, including the mainstream media that was literally writing puff pieces about how great Jeffrey Epstein was. Meanwhile, independent media was cracking down on him and exposing him from the horrible monster that he was. And still, we know very little about the exact extent about how these horrible people operated as many documents are still being sealed, including Ghislaine Maxwell's testimony, which is still being sealed and not released to the general public. There's a lot of information that we still don't know about this major case. Ghislaine Maxwell recently requested to be moved to the general population. Her request also has been denied. She has a court case coming up next year in the summer of 2021. Hopefully she makes it until then, but yet still there are many secrets that she knows that the general public deserves to understand. And of course, this implicates not only so many of the other people we mentioned, but this goes all the way up to royalty, which the video that we started with was a protest of with their extreme record of abuse of children. Very funny how the royal family is connected with the worst child abusers and attackers, and somehow they never faced the full ramifications from doing such horrible deeds. And it literally seems like the Hollywood's are elites are, are rushing to normalize this kind of disgusting behavior as satirically put out by Babylon Bee in an article that, of course, is clear satire, but you wouldn't know it with how they've been freaking acting. And we wonder why our society is becoming more deprived and industries like OnlyFans are booming to the point where they even have to cut off their own referral bonuses because too many people are signing up and they can't keep up with the demand. Again, we have to understand that this is all 
a part of high-level programming and conditioning in order to deprive society of a family, deprive society of a community, of a family unit that works together, stays together, cooperates and works together efficiently. Because of course, when you have that, you have a lot less profit. You have a lot less vulnerable and sustainable human beings who could be exploited. And these elites want to exploit you, squeeze you like a lemon until the last drop. And that's why, in my opinion, we have such a bastardized social conditioning trying to normalize you selling your body. These people want to use you, abuse you, and control you and the only way they could do that is if you let them there's a lot of subconscious subliminal propaganda i mean you could just pick it up by watching uh the boob tube which i don't recommend you do too many people i know just leave the tv on in their room as they're doing whatever they're doing around the, their day and, and that is something that you should avoid at all costs because there's a reason these industries spend billions of dollars trying to influence people and and as as a small example why cigarette companies pay actors to smoke cigarettes inside of movies that kind of marketing that kind of subconscious programming cost hundreds of millions of dollars mainly because it works we're susceptible to what we see to what is normalized to us and Screw these people and their plan. By all means, don't let them win. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you watching and sharing these videos, and that's why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.